The docu-series, Quiet on Set, recently released on the Max streaming service. The four-part series exposes the details surrounding years of abuse suffered by employees of Nickelodeon. The primary subject of the docu-series is Dan Schneider, television producer for the network from 1994 to 2018. He is responsible for many popular kid shows during that time. Nickelodeon parted ways with Dan in 2018 after investigating allegations of sexual misconduct and gender discrimination. The accounts of Dan's harassment range from inappropriate touching and verbal harassment to abusive outbursts on set. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. Additionally, I apologize to the people who were walking around Video Village or wherever they happened because there were lots of people there who witnessed it who also may have felt uncomfortable. Watching over the past two nights was very difficult, me facing my past behaviors, and I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. His series often contains scenes with sexual innuendos that some feel were inappropriate for children's shows. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Every one of those jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny. The notion that I had the power to just produce whatever I wanted and have it air is completely false. There were many, many levels of scrutiny. Approval at every stage, really. Bosses and then their bosses and then their bosses and they're approving all of this. And if anybody had said anything, hey, we don't like that, that's not appropriate, then it would have been cut out. The most horrifying story from the series was what happened to then 15-year-old actor Drake Bell. In episode three of Quiet on Set, the actor bravely broke his silence and revealed how he was sexually assaulted by his acting coach, Brian Peck. I had no way out. When Drake and I talked and he told me what had happened, I was, more devastated by that than anything that ever happened to me in my career thus far. I told him, I'm here for you. What do you need? He went to court when this guy was being tried, Peck. And when Drake walked in, he saw 50 people sitting on the side of the courtroom supporting Peck. A lot of them pretty famous. Perhaps what is most disturbing about the docuseries is how any of this behavior was able to occur in the first place. The higher-ups at Nickelodeon seemed content to turn a blind eye to any wrongdoing as long as the money was rolling in. Society needs to do better with protecting children. Here's the kicker that I really don't get. After he got out of prison and was, to my knowledge, a registered sex offender, he was hired on a Disney Channel show. The ramifications of the abuse stays with the victims for the rest of their lives. Around that same time, Amanda was reportedly put on a psychiatric hold after she was found roaming the streets naked and alone in LA.